<laughs> okay. Do I have to give an introduction to Michael? Um, I have no idea. I mean, I just, just say, I just say, hi, I'm Juan. <laughs> okay. Hello, guys. My name is Juan Horas. I am a chemical engineer, second year. Uh, I'm also a minor in mathematics. Uh, part of my research that I do here at the university involves uh, nitrite detection with gold nanoparticles. And <clears throat> uh, this is what I'm going to be presenting to you today. Uh, so the name of the research was Colorimetric Nitrite Detection with Known Gold Nanoparticle Probes and Kinetic Endpoints. Um, so a little bit of the background on this is that um, nitrite and nitrate in drinking water supplies is very dangerous. It can come from chemical fertilizers because of the nit nitrogen in them, and it, it is found everywhere, and it can be very hazardous to our health. Um, the EPA estimates that 4 million Americans are using supplied water with nitrate concentration exceeding the maximum containment limit. Um, it, it has been linked with intrauterine growth restriction and birth defects on the central nervous system. And it is, as you can see, very bad. Um, so for this, uh, chemical functionalist nanoparticles have been used in many areas of research. And it, they have proven to have many applications such as drug delivery and <clears throat> in our case, nitrate detection, in a very smart way, um, these gold nanoparticles exhibit this independent optical properties. So what we're going to do, and I'll explain more in the methods, is that we're going to coat the gold nanoparticles with a certain uh, ligand that is going to cause the particles to aggregate and anti-aggregate, causing it to have different optical properties. And in the presence of nitrite and nitrate, um, it is going to make it aggregate in such a way that it changes the color and it, you, we can detect this nitrite. So the methods for this uh, includes uh, coating two types of nanoparticles, one with aniline and one with naphthalene. So here's a diagram of it um, in case the, the names of it are a little bit too much. Um, so what it's going to do we're going to have this one with um, aniline, I believe this is it. This is the gold nanoparticle surface, and this is the aniline ligand. So as you can see, it has an NH2 um, functional group, and on the other ligand, in the naphthalene, we have this empty um, ligand. So in the presence of nitrite, and under acidic conditions, uh, the acidic condition is very important, uh, this naphthalene and aniline gold nanoparticles bond together into what is called um, a salt, a di diazonium salt. And when it bonds, it, causes it, it brings the gold nanoparticles together, and then it causes it to change color. And this is under the presence of nitrite, which is, which as you can see, is a relatively easy process of coating the gold nanoparticles and um, literally just putting a little bit of nitrite um, to detect it. It's relatively inexpensive, so it's great for applications in the, in the field. So some of the results that we obtained is that we were able to detect nitrite at one part per million, or 21.7 micromolar so, uh, solution, um, in between the range of 22 and 30 micromolar, as you can see here, we see that a little bit of that <laughs> color range uh, depends on the concentration. But after that, it just, it just purely white. Um, we also tested it with several ions, uh, nitride, fluoride, sulfate, bromide, chloride, you name it. And they 
even at really high concentrations of green millimolar, uh, towards a magnitude greater, they did not show a uh, significant response in a uh, significant result in uh, conflicting with our data. So even with in a from a water supply, this water supply does not need to be modified to um, apply for different ions. It can just detect the nitride itself. So this method is nitride specific. So that is a very important result. So another important result that we obtained was that the onset of the color, color change can be controlled kinetically. In this example, an incubation time of 25 minutes at a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius will cause the onset to, um, to change at the EPA limit. Uh, for an incubation time of a longer period, we can detect it at even lower concentrations. So from this conclusion, they synthesized gold nanoparticles that we obtained um, show affordable and easy methods in the field to detect nitrite, uh, which is an ongoing concern in food safety and in water quality safety. Um, this method is relatively, um, is very easy to do and it, can, it doesn't need surface modification for the water itself that is being tested. So that's another advantage. Um, I want to give thanks to the contributors of this paper, Weston, Daniel, Han, Min, Lee, and Chad, um, and to the American Chemical Society for providing me with this resource to do the, the research. Thank you.